Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. Just, I just wanted to show you my oxygen aging plant here. It's, um, it's thrown out lots of nice bubbles now. It's a nice sunny day and it's photosynthesizing quite rapidly and you can see you've got a good stream of miniature bubbles on the right there. Quite a few large ones on the left and every now and again a really big bubble comes up. So it's producing a lot of oxygen. You can also see some further left there. Just a thin stream on the far left. Now it's not just the bottom it's producing the bubbles. It's also producing the bubbles from elsewhere. Let's see if I can get that in focus for you. There's some up here as well. There you are. So it's not just the bottom, but it's mainly the bottom. And the reason for that is because the plant has been cut off from its from as a cutting, and there's a break in the stem at the bottom. And what happens when it's photosynthesizing is the plant's producing a lot of oxygen. And normally this would just slowly bubble out of various places around the leaf or maybe not even turn into bubbles and just diffuse into the water. But when you've got a cut in it, what happens is the, the oxygen bubbles, they go to this place with least resistance, which is where the cut is. And a lot of oxygenating plants, they have air filled spaces inside them to help them float, but also to make sure there's enough air so that there's enough uh, uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide transported throughout the plant, as that can be a problem when it's underwater. So because of that, the air can travel through that, through the whole plant and out to the place where there's a cut. So that's why this is bubbling so much down here. So that's my oxygenating plant. Um, it's growing really nicely at the moment, you've got plenty of bubbles. I just wanted to show you, it's a great way to, um, if you've got kids so you're learning about photosynthesis, to actually see the process in action because you can really see the difference with if you cover up the light a few minutes later the photosynthesis stops or if you put a strong grow lamp on or you put it in the sunshine just after five ten minutes bubbles start appearing and they get the, the stronger the light the more rapid it is so it really so it's a really good way of showing um, how you can um, measure the photosynthesis and how the strength of the light really impacts on how many bubbles it's producing so that's my oxygenating plant there making the bubbles um, I'll give you guys another update on this on these plants if later on if if you want but that's all for now